Getting you, getting you in the mood here on this Wednesday morning. We're looking ahead to the 21st annual Rural Hill Scottish Festival and Loch Norman Highland Games. Joining us is Rural Hills Executive Director Jeff Fissel. This is the 21st annual event, so obviously a nice long tradition here. It's been going on for 21 years now. We're looking forward to another great year. Yeah, thanks for coming in and uh, talking with us this morning. A great event for folks who've been there before they know what to expect, but uh, for folks who have not got to check this out over the last 20 years, what can they expect heading out there? There's tons of events for the whole family. So you've got everything from Celtic music, Celtic rock music, you've got bagpipes, you've got athletic competitions, you know, the crazy thing where you see guys throwing the telephone pole into yeah. the end, yep. and you can't see it anywhere else. This is the kind of the one weekend a year to catch it all and take it all in, So there's and it just goes on and on. There's just tons of events. And this is April 12th and 13th, but a ton of options, I mean, even camping options and things like that. Talk to us about some of the uh, amenities available to folks who can come check out the activities. Sure, so if you want to stay the weekend with us, there's a, we have a campsite. Uh, you can set your tent or your RV up, and then uh, you know there we've got food vendors, so you've got your food taken care of. You can try some great Scottish food. Um, there'll be food and wine, uh, beer available as well for purchase, and um, you know kids' zone, kids' activities, things to do for the children, you know, things education-wise, and then also the fun stuff like the bounce houses and things like that. So there's, uh, there's plenty to do, and there's more than you can take in in just a day. Yeah, kind of a neat opportunity to get out and enjoy a, a different aspect of Historic culture, you know, from a worldwide perspective. Uh, you know, do folks, a lot of people enjoy kind of getting to experience, for example, the sounds that we were just hearing of, of a different culture? Yeah, it's so different than what you would see every day, and there's just nothing else like this in town that you can experience that has this broad scope of everything from Scotland in a weekend. Yeah. So everything from, you know, the historical encampment where there's just so much living history stuff to take in, you know, from the blacksmith to the, uh, you know, to the, to the soldiers that represent, you know, what life would have been like, you know, sometimes well over 100 years ago. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there, there's just nothing else like it that you can do and uh, there's so much to learn and you can participate in too yeah pretty cool and uh the, i like how it's kind of the loch norman the, the yeah. play on of course the loch ness uh, you know again i want to give folks the information one more time this is april 12th and 13th so obviously coming up uh, there's the ticket prices. Uh, they kind of vary. Talk to me about that. Sure. Uh, children's prices are seven dollars, so we make it really affordable for yeah. families. Twenty-five bucks covers your weekend for adults, or uh, twenty on Saturday and ten on Saturday, or ten on Sunday. And then uh, we also do a, a Celtic concert on Saturday night as well. So there's all the bands come to come together and play together, and it's, uh, it's just a really fun night. Awesome. Before we head to break here, uh, why don't you introduce to us uh, what we're going to hear here before our uh, we viewers take us to break? Yeah. Here. Andrea Jones was nice enough to join us today, and she's going to play uh, Scotland the Brave on the bagpipe and. Uh, just a taste of what you get this weekend. Indeed, take it away. Again, uh, those are the sounds you can enjoy this weekend. I want to thank you guys so much for coming in. Fantastic, by the way. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for coming in, guys. And uh, hopefully get out there, get some nice weather, it looks like. We'll be back with some more news and weather right after the break.